drones in general are considered as part of the 6G world. LTA gives the opportunity to develop all sorts of capabilities to the system which are related to the services provided to six, by the 6G. LTA drones uh, are a family of drones that offer a 10 times longer flight time compared to conventional drones. Conventional drones use a lot of the energy that they carry with them to uh, make the drone fly and to make the structure stable. In LTA drones, flight of the drone is provided mostly by helium-filled flotation device or helium-filled balloons. This way the drone doesn't use extra energy to stay afloat. The Ilmaris airframe is built around a 1 meter long and 2 mm thick carbon fiber rod, which houses three small drone motors, battery, the flight controlling electronics, and of course, this structure, this airframe is then lifted up using these helium balloons. With these three helium balls, uh, the airframe stays afloat uh, at least one month. Of course, if you want to do maneuvers with the drone, you also have to use electricity. So the ultimate limit for one-time operation of the drone is the amount of energy that you are able to carry with the drone. For example, most of the information processing, the AI that is uh, automating the flight of the LTA, is actually on the network side, in the edge of the 6G network. This allows us to save uh, energy and weight in the LTA structure. An example of uh, how, how we use the 6G network to fly the LTA is the use of a machine vision camera which is actually providing the location data for the LTA system. So basically we have an AI camera that recognizes the LTA while it is flying and automatically calculates the position of the LTA, which information is of course then used to navigate in the environment. For example, it is possible to create this kind of a system that, for example, monitors the quality of the infrastructure 24-7 uh, uh, if we include several LTAs, we can cover pretty much the whole campus a few, t few times a day and provide information for the maintenance, for example, on what is the uh, quality of air in different places and stuff like that.